All right, what's up, guys? I have a 2018 uh, Silverado Crew Cab. It's just a LT Texas Edition, nothing special. So I've got the cloth, you know, bucket seats and the center jump seat. Uh, I was driving down the road last week, and every other time I hit a bump, it would rattle. And it was not just a rattle, but it was like an obnoxious rattle of like somebody sitting there and just just tapping on the plastic, tapping on the plastic, tapping on the plastic. And then it was, sounded like it was tapping on metal. It was ridiculous. So I opened up the deal here. I pulled the carpet back. I checked underneath, you know, looked down in the little seat holes there. Nothing. Didn't see anything in them. Pulled the carpet back here. Checked. Nothing. Didn't see anything in them. Didn't see any, you know, any way that there would be anything. Really, they can make that much racket get underneath there. But it was, and every other time I hit a bump, and especially in textured roads, it would just constantly rattle. I'd have to turn the radio up. So, got a tired of it enough. I decided to take it apart and to pull this deal out, this cover piece that goes on here. It's got a little tab right there. Oh, my thumb's over it. Right there. You just kind of push in on that part to get that out. <clears throat> and then on the front here, it's got like a little spike underneath here and here that grabs the actual console piece underneath. To get those out, I just kind of grab the corner here. And right over here, back here to get this, because this has got another little lip, and it kind of kind of grabs down there in the pocket. So, just grab it. I've already got it apart, so it's kind of moving on me. And I'm doing it one-handed. And it comes right out. And there's your little spikes. You can see them on the bottom there. Little deal that grabs up front. So not too difficult. Once you get that out, you're going to have a screw here, here, sorry, I pointed the wrong hole there, there and there, <clears throat> and you're going to have one here, and one over here. Make sure to back them all the way out, because they still want to kind of grab, and then when you go to pull this out, the centerpiece, it's got a little tab right here. Losing focus there, guys. Sorry. It's got a little tab right here by my thumb. And it's got another one right there. When you go to lift that out, you just want to kind of come forward with it up in the front here. And it'll pop right out. Might It might give you a little resistance. It might do a little pop. But, I mean, if you're not trying to force it straight up, you tilt it up front just a little bit and pull. It should just pop right out and not break anything. Once I got that out, <clears throat> I took out the deal for the 12 volt. I had a deal right here on the side to pinch and just kind of wiggle it and pull it out. Same with this one underneath. Just pinch right here. It'll be sitting this way with this lip that's right there by, by my finger up. And then I just took a screwdriver on there. Why I keep losing focus. Took a screwdriver and just pushed it back and out. It is kind of a snug area, so you might have to, you know, work with the wiring here a little bit, which does move. It does have some freedom without having to disconnect it from here. Same with this one. It had a little push deal on it on the bottom. Bottom or side, I can't remember. I think it was like this. Yeah. On the bottom. Which is kind of hard to get to, especially if you got bigger fingers push it down you do have to give it some oomph if you can get some bite on there to push on it and then same thing just kind of wiggle it out but it is once it's down in here as you can see it is a snug fit down in here so trying to get your finger on it is a task <clears throat> oh also i forgot to mention with this one with the 12 volt outlet there was this deal on there like a retainer clip and just pops right on to get it out i just pushed it back with a screwdriver it came off i was able to pinch this and pull this out so again not too difficult 
once you get all that stuff out and I did pull out the USB deal you may not have to but I did just because that piece is pretty big and it is kind of long so I didn't want it trying to hang up or fight me or get snagged up on something and I crack you know I ended up cracking this piece here or something so on the side there it's got one of the little push deals right there right there they are they are pretty resistant uh, when it's in place I was able to pinch them down you got play right here up front sorry about the focus again guys that you could push in if you can get enough in there again you can do like a little flat head or a small phillips to push in on these i did this right side first and then this left side and how i did that was i pushed in on it and pushed it out so it kind of you know pushed in on it on itself on the housing here And then I pulled this side out and then just pushed it through and it came right out. No biggie. Then there's going to be another screw here. And another screw right over here that holds these down. Once you get those out, if you lift up on it just a bit, just kind of pull forward. It's going to fight me. There we go. Yeah, up until it comes up. Up until it comes up here, I'm trying to do this one-handed, guys. Just grab back here. And you gotta kind of fight with it just a little bit. And as you can see, it just kind of lifts right out now. Front. There's your back. You got those little tabs right here. They kind of grab. So when you push on it, back a little bit and tilt this up and then once you get a hold back here pull it out just like that do like that it'll come out shouldn't fight you too bad and then also fun it looks like i made a spill with some coffee got all over in here